picked up some new LED lights for the conversion on the Alchemite stack set. Uh, I picked one with eight lights, but I did think these had come off quite easily, which they did. But also inside each LED, and I'll zoom in, the cover of it comes off. So you can make them really small. And these wires are much thinner and more poseable than the thick black wires I was trying with before. So I'm quite hopeful about this working. I'm also going to repurpose this red plastic to cover some of the, the vents and whatnot to make it perhaps look like red glowing fire maybe. We'll see how it turns out. I know, I know, I always waffle on about cheap pound shop stuff, but look at this breakdown. You get a really thin and very malleable set of eight LEDs, really small, great for installing and stuff. Eight pieces of red plastic that can be converted into something, I have no doubt. And even eight little clips that were on the actual lights that, again, you could use for something. I love finding stuff like that, it's all good. So in my first attempt that failed, this will be my second video on the subject, from a distance it looks great, but when you look, you can't see it there, it doesn't quite show through, but you can see the LEDs, I'm assuming, there you go, it's not very disguised of what it is. So I thought about things like those fires with fake glowing blocks, so I chopped up a load of the red plastic presents, that were onto the light and as always before you stick test so I've glued a few in there and if we use that instead you get a glowing rock effect look at that that worked out all right and that's again just chopped up plastic red bits so I'll be sticking with that and probably do the same for that so it looks like a proper glowing foundry i'm quite happy with that that looks good so next to, to glue those in place so i've plastic glued them there simple as because you don't want it too uniform and you want it to look like random coals i've just squidged together three of the lights that should be enough to light it up this um wire wire as it was it's really good for this i'm going to go for these from now on better than the thick covered plastic black wire so they will be hot glue gunned over the back why hot glue gun because you can always peel it off carefully further down the line if there's a mistake and that will be set there a quick half ass tip from inquisitor jeff keep your binding items close that you're having to go around elastic bands invaluable for planning out larger bits together holding scenery before gluing Sellotape is really the best for anything you want to sellotape inside to test out. Wouldn't put it on the outside, obviously it'll take the paint off, but on the inside it doesn't matter. And also blue tack for holding lights in small... I think there is a light in there, but there's a piece of blue tack holding it where I want it to be. So blue tack, sellotape, elastic bands, always keep them close. Excuse the mess, I've got like 300 projects on. The saying goes it's nice when things work out. Trimming the corners off the little presents. Fits just nicely in there. So my plan will be to put that in there that way. Come on, don't mess about. Like that. And then I'll use these, which also came with the pound shop lights, to look like little coals or something in there. It might even fit in circles of jewel there quite nicely i don't know i'm sure we'll have a look in it all the wires are secured now hot glued i won't turn them on yet that'll spoil the surprise at the end there's a slight gap here because on instead of magnets i haven't got enough to do it i've used hot glue gun so when i need to change the batteries and stuff i can just pull it apart in fact i'm going to use hot glue gun for pretty much all of this just this is a sort of prototype so at least i can take it apart if need be Draw the hole in that to thread the wire through and I'm about to stick those LEDs for these gaps. If you look, I'd already glue gunned them but I've peeled it off now because you can glue gun quite a neat little bubble. So I'm going to fill the gaps with a rounded glue gun bubble and hopefully it'll look like lights as in little bulbs or something rather than just empty hole with the shining of the LED through. You can get different coloured glue gun things, I haven't got any, but it might be worth thinking about getting different coloured ones. So instead of having to use little bits of coloured plastic, you just literally do a little dribble of 
that sounds dodgy a little spot of glue gun and go from there so the next video will be after i've glued them in position the thinner wires on the leds are definitely the ones to go for it's like a very thin paper clip type wire very malleable and easy to control once you get it in there easily closes on top with no problems here we have version two of the alchemite pipe conversion with lights inside unlike my reactor no wires no box no power pack it's all self-included switch is reachable i don't think you'll see it in there oh, can you switch is in there and there we go so we have furnacey type blowing light melted glass effect at the bottom some misty it's just glue gun stuff for now misty effects to diffuse the light and the same up there that's just glue dry glue gun stuff let's turn the light off a bit and there we go looks okay much better with the thinner leds there is a huge gap down the side but that's again this is a this is a tester this is only hot glue gunned together so i'll be taking it apart to now that i've, I've mocked it up that works i'll look at how i'm going to actually do it uh, magnets might work they might not but i don't have any well, enough to do this project i'm going to order some and that's it i'm really happy with the outcome standalone better than my other one well not paint wise but uh, there's no power brick all inclusive very good very happy with it so hopefully if you fancy doing it follow my guide it's all there like and all that lot and share and stuff and this one's a success there'll probably be a third part of this video when i sit and do it and paint it up all good but i just like to get a video out a week so this can go up tomorrow perhaps and there you go thanks for watching